Holy shit, dude. I'm doing another try, okay? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That that's was fine. not... I did not get past this this first... The second checkpoint. I didn't get to the second checkpoint. Offensively bad. Upsetting. Offensively bad. The airbase! Doesn't matter. Let's take it down! Hey, Al, are you still... Yeah, I'm still here. I'm sorry. I was looking something up. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, one cool thing about another here, here, here's here's my other pitch for Xenoblade. Yeah. For the first Xenoblade, at least. Um. Xenoblade, uh, fucking one, not two or three, but Xenoblade one. Its soundtrack is uh, composed by uh, Yoko Shimomura, who is the lady that does the Kingdom Hearts soundtracks. Oh. So it's got Kingdom Hearts music. Let's go. That's neat. And Kingdom Hearts has a really fucking good soundtrack. It's banger, banger music. It's bangers. It's got bangers and it's got like these really like fucking epic orchestral like fucking like beats. It's great. Yeah. Everyone loves Kingdom Hearts music. Even me. Even Ellie. And Ellie hates Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. She was telling me the other day she thought Riku was gay. I mean, I think that probably of the main like Kingdom Hearts trio, I think, think he's the most probably the most likely to be gay. Yeah, I agree with that. Like Riku probably has like one of the more queer stories in. There was actually a take I saw that someone was saying that Riku's uh, whole darkness thing could be um, they like viewed it as like a queer allegory. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it's there's... sort of like his coming out story. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't know. Because he, like, he, like, has to learn to, like... I don't want to spoil Riku's journey or anything, but... Riku is... Riku's thing with the darkness is far from over. I'm sure, yeah. He's gonna deal with the repercussions of what he's done for a while. Riku is nice. Yeah. That's a fun fact you might need to learn about Riku. You, like, you guys might not know this, but Riku is sort of nice. It's kind of like... I like that we, we insist upon this so much. Because, like... I like, Riku's not mean. But also, like, nice is probably, like, definitely not the operative word well, I would use to describe. Do you remember? do you remember when he stole Pinocchio? Like, yeah. It was gonna kill this nice little boy? Like, remember, Riku got possessed by Ansem halfway through your journey into Hollow Bastion. Well, like, like, I, he was I, definitely I, being influenced by him. I, I know that. Like, like I, I, I understand this. I'm not defending Riku. Riku tried to kill Sora at one point. I know. <laughs> I, I, like, I, that's what I was getting at, though, is I don't think, like, Riku is not nice as a rule. No. Sure. No. Riku has some darkness. He's got some darkness in him. Like, literally. He's got some demons. I guess, no, hold on. I, because I said literally, like, he literally has some darkness in him. I guess, like, he both figuratively and literally has some darkness. Yes. He know? does literally and figuratively, yeah. Just run and do it, whatever. I don't even care. <laughs> Sonic and Knuckles? Oh, it is the same thing. You didn't lie when you said that before. Yeah. I didn't realize like, that it, like, transform. transforms, yeah. Yeah, isn't that cool? Do you yeah. like that? No, I don't think it really... Does it add anything? Add anything, yeah. Self-destruct? It's blown to pieces! Have you ever noticed that they don't really talk to each other? No, it's they yeah. All, like, a lot of the dialogue in this game feels like the, the like the designers of the levels were like, hey, we have this set piece where like the ship blows up, you step on a big button, the ship blows up, and then they're like, writers, can you give us a line for Knuckles, Sonic, and, and Tails to say? Yeah. And then they just sort of like say those it's lines not in sequence. And it, it, because it, it's not banter. They're, no. they're not doing like banter. They're not talking they're, to. They're, they're not. They're not talking to each other at all. They're talking. They're just talking. Yeah. Makes you think, man. Some more literary analysis of Sonic makes Heroes you... makes you really makes you fucking wonder. Man. <laughs> I'm wondering right now. We've talked. I mean, it's got a fucking bare bone story. We gotta talk about something. 
Gotta talk about something. The moon, nothing's even happened to the moon. The moon is fine right now, yeah. The moon's fine. The moon's fine. The city's fine. I'm sure he'll blow it up eventually. The city is fine. That's Eggman true. said he had an ultimate weapon. Is his ultimate weapon just this fucking armada? I, I guess. That's kind of a lame ultimate weapon. I wouldn't really consider that, like, a weapon. Like, it is, like, kind of a weapon, I guess. But, like, you kind of expect him to have, like, a bomb that could blow up the sun. Yeah. Like, after the last game, right? Yeah. Oh, I made it up without even needing to... Oh, nice. Without needing to go down there and risk it all. Risk it all. Risk it all. Risk it all. Ellie, what's your favorite type of bagel? Um, honestly, like... I don't mind, like, an everything bagel. I like a plain bagel's fine. I think my go-to, like... Me with... What? I was gonna say, you hit me with that everything bagel, I'm, and then cream cheese, and I'm set. That's all I need. Yeah, I, but I think lately I've been way more of, like, I've been, like, a sweet bagel person. I've been more about the, um, like a, like a, like a cinnamon raisin bagel. Mmm. It's kind of my favorite. The, right the bagel that I had at Jersey was so good. Yeah, it's... I went to visit you guys. We have, like, real bagels here. The thing is, and I don't mean this, like, this sounds like something people say about, like, the place they live. Like, we're the only place- I'll say New York are the only place in the country that has real bagels. I was gonna say, New York, when we went to, uh, New York and we stopped and got breakfast, I had, like- or maybe it was lunch, because I had, like, a- like, I had some sort of, like, chicken, avocado, bagel thing. It was really fucking good. Like, people- like, the way they make bagels, you like, you can't get, like, a fresh-baked bagel in the same way in other parts of the yeah. country. Like, bagels are not supposed to be, like, soft and pillowy like a store-bought bagel is. They're yeah. like, they're crispy on the outside, and then they're very, like, tender and kind of plush on the inside. Yeah. Like, it's really fucking good. It's a little sweet, but it's very, like, I don't know. Like, it's, I feel very strongly about this. This is one of our, like, cultural things in New Jersey. This is one of the things that you said you're going to miss the most when you're in Texas. I, I am, because I think that the, all the bagels in Texas are going to be like, do you want a Thomas everything bagel? And it's, like, just, like, thick bread. It's, like, I don't... Yeah. It's not what I want. Yeah, but you guys got, like, fucking banging Mexican food down there, don't you? Uh, yeah, I had, like, the best Mexican food I ever had in my entire That's life. That's what, when I come visit you guys, I want to go to one. Oh, yeah, we'll I take you, wanna... uh, like, and within reason. Take me everywhere. Because we're all going to be poor as shit. Um, we'll take you to, to the, the joints. Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah. the nice thing about uh, Dallas from when we went there was, like, it's just, like, a big city. It's, like, a big cultural center, so they just have fucking everything. Yeah. Um... They have really good Mexican, and, like, they have, obviously, a barbecue and stuff there. Although I wasn't big on the barbecue we got. I think Texas barbecue is overrated. Um, but, uh, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, the, the, the big thing in, like, my area is, like, weirdly enough, like, like, well, Ohio has, like, chili as its, like, it's thing, me, I guess. Yeah. But, <laughs> but we also, like... In my specific area, there's so many ice cream places around me. Oh, neat. And so many, like, local ice cream places, like, like local dairies and stuff. Yeah. That's neat. Mm-hmm. Um. Some really good ones. Yeah, my, one of my favorite things we got in Dallas was just, like, like, really good ramen. Oh, really? Interesting. That's not what I would expect. Well, because the thing is, it's, it's just, like, you know, it's, like, a cultural center. It's, like... Yeah, I guess that's true. If you if it's like a it's it's like New York in that way. You there. can just get whatever. Or 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 L A. Where it's yeah. like there's everything. I that's the one of the things I missed the most about L A. When we when uh, I went there was the the fucking food was so good. Yeah, that, and it's, it it's very similar well. in Dallas from like my one experience is that you just get pretty good anything. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We had that. We went to that one uh, place and got. Uh, we got like uh, omakase. Are you thinking of or? We got curry, didn't we? Oh or, yeah. Not, not curry. Oh, in New was York. Yeah, we went yeah, to like a, like a Malaysian place. Yeah, it was really good. I don't remember what it was, but yeah, we went to like a that was like a Michelin star restaurant. Yes. There's a one Michelin star. Went there. We went to the first the first time I was there. We went to what was it, Juniors. Went to Juniors, which I mean is like a On, tourist trap, but it's it's but it was, it's obviously iconic. I was. I was a tourist, so yeah. fuck it. Oh yeah. No, I mean I've been to Juniors, you know, on several occasions now. You had the infamous steak shake, or no, cake shake. Cake shake. It just has a full slice of cheesecake on top of a big shake. So funny. Very funny. 
Yeah, we All got right, Don't that. waste your team attack on this guy. Save it for the three guys up the top. Yep. When when I first met Maddie, when Maddie came to the city to see me and Jared, I remember we went to Juniors. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and we were just you know having like dinner together. Um, and there was this like guy out with like his girlfriend or something, who was having the the, uh -huh. the fucking cake shake or whatever, and was like, hey. And we were yeah. just like looking at it. We're like, what the fuck is that? And, like we were looking at him from like, across the room, and he looks at us. He's like, you guys want one of these? And we're like, what? And he's like, hey, waitress, just bring him one of these. And some some, <laughs> oh, some that, random that New York nice. guy just like was like, Here. thanks, random New York guy. But yeah, sometimes people are nice. Yeah, I think he was trying to impress the girl he was with. <laughs> yeah, well, that's fine. That's fine. That's a good enough reason for being nice that's to a us. Good enough for reason. giving us free milkshake and cheesecake. I can't complain about that. I like both of those things a lot. Yeah. <laughs> this is not related to it at all, but uh, um, there was this one time that I... This is the worst game ever made. I went to a... Um, I always used to stop at a Skyline really, uh -huh. um, on my way back to school when I was uh, in college. Yeah. And there was this one time that I stopped there and I had a gift card and I used the gift card to pay for my meal and it was like exactly enough. Mm. And I was like, uh, I was like, uh, I was like, I was like, and I didn't have any cash on me. Yeah. And I was like, can I use my card to like leave a tip? And they were like, no, no, sorry, you, you, you can't do that. Um, it has to be with a purchase. And I was like, oh shit. And I said, can I buy, uh, I say, I'll get one of these mints, and the mints were like five cents, right? And they were like, oh, you can't do that, the, uh, or they were like, you can only live a tip on something that's like two dollars or more. That's weird. And I was like, oh, shit. And so I was like, I'll take 40 mints. <laughs> and so I bought 40 mints so I could leave a tip, because I didn't want to not leave a tip. And the lady funny. was like, the lady was like, you really don't have to do this. And I was like, no, 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 I, I would feel I'm bad. I'm leaving a tip. <laughs> I'm leaving a tip. I don't have any cash. I'm sorry. So I, well, I was like driving home, and it was like those like chocolate mints, and oh, I'm, nice. I'm actually a, like a huge like like sucker for chocolate mints. I just wanted the mints. Yeah, I really like. I, I like. You're like, no, no, I'll take the mints. It's all right. No, I'll take the mints. That's fine. I like. It's fine. You don't need to worry about it. It's. I'll. I'll find a way to get through all these mints. Don't worry. I'll find a way to get all these mints. I ate a ton of them on my way home. I would have done the same thing. Tails. Tails. Tails of the Fox. Miles, Tails Prower. He is epic. He is cool. We love Tails. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames, they went higher. It burns, 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 the ring of fire. My stomach really hurts. <laughs> you what? It was going so well. You, it, I mean, look, you still it's, got two lives, it's you're good. The, it's the fact uh, that the spinny guys... Like if you're if you're close enough to them when they start spinning, yeah. Like they catch you with two hits. You can't escape the second hit before it hits you and kills you. Like yeah. they, they just instant kills you. Like they they don't bother to knock you back far enough. But I guess because they don't. But sometimes they still knock you off the edge though. It's like the worst of both worlds. Yeah. Then you you just need to wait for them to spin. Like they stand still and spin. The attack lasts like. 20 seconds and you need to just stand there and wait for it to finish you can so you can knock them off and guard sometimes and... you can't knock them off guard because like their hammer has a huge hitbox that blocks your attacks uh-huh and it also still deals damage to you so like if you try to run up as knuckles and knock them down or something you'll get like knocked down by the hammer uh-huh you'll take damage and lose your rings but like it also is not to try to throw your guys as tails and that doesn't work either you just got to go straight down Why? Why is it fucking like this? What? What? This is the worst game ever made. It's it's the worst. It's 
It's fucking horrible. <laughs> You're seeing what's happening, right? Like, this is coming I, I, across I, I, properly. It's yeah, like, no, no, it, no, 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 I, I, I am witnessing, I am witnessing. I guess, like, maybe I should fly across his tails and not try to, like, I'm just worried the tails won't be able to hover far enough. Because the thing is, if Sonic not, gets stuck, able to make it. Sonic gets stuck to the wall, he doesn't fall down naturally. I'm trying to switch you're to tails, and then when I land it. in time... It's, like, too low, and you can't get back up. Yeah, and there's, like... Bye, everybody. See everybody. Have a good one. Bye.